I was able to do it every day, no doubt about it. I definitely would. It's my true passion, man. Nothing else compares. It's the freest feeling you'll ever have, and it's the greatest release from anything. It's, it's the most wonderful thing I've ever done. You're all free, you know, you're not attached to anything. You just step on the board and go. You just go with the wind. It's not like you're attached to anything, so you're really free. It feels good. That feeling, you know. You've tried it for so many times. You, you, you could see your sweat on the ground because you've been falling down so much. You have blood dripping off your elbows. And some, you know, your friends over there egging you on, come on, just clapping and making you do it. So you get up and try it again, and you finally end it. It's just nothing like that. Oh, Unless you've done it, you wouldn't understand. It's just nobody that's not people that don't skateboard wouldn't understand. But if you fall, it motivates you to get back up. It's like you said, like said the goal. Yeah, it is a goal. You just keep trying to get to that goal. Yeah, no matter what, you keep pushing. So that way I can feel what it feels like to land it. it feels butter. <laughs> I think my older brother got me into it. He was a year and a half older than me, you know, little kid, tag along with them. He had a bunch of friends that skated, so, you know, we hang out, skate in the driveway, maybe build some ramps out of wood. That's just how it went. You know, my brother's always pushed me. I have a younger brother, Jeff. Growing up with two older brothers who skate definitely inspired me to get better. They would push me to try new tricks and bigger things. Whenever I was skeptical of landing anything, my brother Cody would show me step by step the right way to land it. And I wouldn't always succeed in landing the trick, but I would definitely progress. Once you get to that point where you can just cruise, just have balance, roll down the curve of the road wherever you are, pop an ollie over a crack, it's like freedom. From there, you just progress. When you skateboard, all you're thinking about is where your feet are and how you're going to land this trick. And you're not thinking about any worries that you have. Your mind is just open and free. Yeah, it's dangerous, but I mean, what isn't? You can be driving down the road, get in a car accident, or you you know, have a heart attack on the couch or fall in the shower or anything. Anything could be dangerous. Skateboarding's not that dangerous if you think about it. I was coming home from school on my motorcycle and a girl pulled out in front of me. I hit her going 45. Uh, she never saw me. And to get out, my, my foot got stuck underneath the gear shift on the motorcycle and it ripped to get out of my boot. My heel wasn't attached no more. It was just the top part of my left foot. I stayed in the hospital for two weeks. I had five surgeries and um, had to leave. it got infected, so they took it. It was six and a half, almost seven months ago. Four months after it happened, I got on a skateboard. I came up here actually to the park and rode around for a little bit. Tried Ollie in a seven half the night. And got really sore, never made it. And then came up here tonight and finally got it. Rebel to the world with no place to go, and so we kick, push, kick.